Hello and welcome back. Let us now move on to lesson four, where we'll be looking at navigation. We'll start by doing a quick introduction to Fury Apps and then spend some time doing hands-on demo exercise. What you see here is a Fury Launchpad. And this is the entry point to SAP Fury Apps on mobile and desktop devices. This is basically a shell that hosts SAP Fiori apps and provides the apps with services such as navigation, personalization, embedded support, and application configuration. And one of the important things to note here is that it has remarkably increased the user experience. And this is in comp comparison to the legacy SAP graphic user interface. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to bridgesicloud.com where we are going to do our demos and I'll navigate to the website. And over here we have curriculum and this is the section where we have the demo exercises. So this is locked, so I need to log in. That's my username and password, so I go ahead and log in. And now that I'm logged in, I can go ahead and navigate again to the course. SAP is for HANA Asset Management. And then down to Curriculum, and my course is open here. So I'll go ahead and open it. And then I can maximize the screen there. And this is again a summary. We had just looked at this a minute ago. But down here we have a video that talks a little more about the Fury Launchpad. But the section that I'm interested in is the hands on simulation. And this is where we're going to spend the next few minutes. So I'll go ahead and start the demo. And so what you have here is the loading page of SAP Fiori Launchpad. And you can always navigate to this page by clicking on the SAP logo on your top left. Then to the top right, you have your search icon and you have the user icon. This is a global search. So if you click on that, you can perform a global search. And that's a drop down of things that you can search. Then going back to the user icon, I have several things that I can do here. The first one is I can access my recent activities or view them. So these are my recent activities. I'll go ahead and close. Then I have my frequently used list. Again, that comes up there. I'll go ahead and close. Then if I want to find an app, uh, this is the app finder. If I click on that, and let's say, for example, there's an app that I want to, to find uh, using the search capability here. So I'll go ahead and click on that and type, for example, notification, and then search. And now all these are notification-related apps that have come up. So I'll go ahead and go back to SAP there. And this is the page where we began. And I'll go ahead and now move on to the next section here, which is settings. And settings allows you to kind of personalize your launch pad. And in this case, we are just going to look at the appearance, but you can check the rest of the things here. So if I click on that, 
I want to change the color from SAP Belize, SAP Belize to Belize Dark. So I click on that and then save. And then that color is different now. I can go back and revert back to the original color that I had. Appearance, select the first one there, then save and this is how it was before. So the next thing that you can do over here is you can edit your home page and this is your home page here. Let's say for example you want to change the tiles that appear here and these are called tiles. So if I click on that and under favorites I have several tiles, I want to add another tile. I click on the plus sign and then I want to file document, I want to add this tile. So I'll pin it. And then if I go to my home page, then that has been added here to that group. And go ahead and save. So usually apps, all the tiles, the tiles that you see here, they're grouped together and those groups appear on the anchor bar at the very, at the very, very top here. So if I click on favorites, then these are the tiles or the apps that are in my favorite group. If I click on measuring or measuring points, then I have my three tiles here or three apps. And I can do the same by clicking on the drop down arrow that is on the right hand side there. Let's say, for example, I want to select notification or to bring up apps that are related to notification. So I'll go ahead and click on this. And then all the apps here at the very top, this is the group related to notification. Create maintenance notification, change maintenance notification and so on and so forth. So, and then finally, once you're done with that, you can always sign out. And that covers how you navigate the Fury Launchpad. So let us now move back to our presentation here and do a very quick summary of what we learned in this module. So we started with module one of lesson one where we looked at maintenance, introduction to different maintenance tasks. We looked at preventive, corrective, emergency, refurbishment and project related maintenance. Then in our second lesson, we looked at SAP S4HANA Cloud, introduction to S4HANA, and some of the commonly used terms. We looked at deployment models such as cloud, on-premise, and hybrid. And then our third lesson was about SAP Activate methodology. And we looked at, we navigated to the actual portals and uh, saw some resources there like best practices and accelerators and finally we have looked spent the last few minutes looking at the navigation using the fury launchpad and it did a demo exercise so thank you so much for your time remember to subscribe to this youtube channel and uh, see you in the next video